Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Bad North. <laughs> just as the just as the violin cuts in there, uh, it is by Plausible Concept and published by Raw Fury. It's currently out on Steam. I believe it's yeah, it is fully released out on Steam. Uh, currently for ten percent off at thirteen dollars and forty nine cents US. Normally fourteen ninety nine. And um, I played just a tidbit of it off off camera just to get a feel for it because it seemed like a kind of an interesting weird concept. And uh, I was correct; it is an actual uh, interesting weird concept. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a new game just from the start, so I don't. Uh, you can kind of see how how the game leads you into it. It's got it's one of these games that it doesn't necessarily have a tutorial it just has like easy levels that kind of ease you into the mechanics of the game so uh without further ado i think we'll just start here and i'm just gonna do normal difficulty i'm not too crazy i, I it's hard and then normal and that's about it and of course i'll leave the tutorial as is so let us begin <laughs> Norby, this is my home. Click and drag to rotate the camera. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. And click on your soldiers to select a squad. Click any tile to move your squad there. Defend your house, they say. And so we shall. As the uh, ships start coming in, as you can see, they're coming on over here. Actually, I gotta be down this way. I gotta be, you gotta be closer to the house than they are, because they'll they'll go make a beeline for the house. So bigger houses, so you kind of have to block their path, because they'll run right by you, and your guys won't run after them. I, I've found that out the hard way. Okay, come on over here now. Bring these guys. Over here. And actually, I better bring them down here. Another thing about it. Yeah, final wave incoming. Like I said, they start you off with a relatively. Oh, they're coming from two sides now. How about them apples? All right. This is a the first. <laughs> Usually only come at me from one from one direction. And there it is. Then we get these uh, gold coins based on the size of the houses that we have rescued. And you use these, you spread these out amongst your troops. And these are used for upgrades as we go along. So I'll just give this guy one. Uh, and I'll give this guy, well, I'll give them both two, I guess. We got four there. Alright, continue. And then, uh, we've got node-based play, so you can go and start to get a bunch of nodes that unlock that you can go and do some things with. Um, and then there's like a, some sort of, uh, I don't know, it's just like skull and crossbones following you along the way, so I don't, I don't know if that's a, if that's like a, like an FTL thing where it's a fleet coming to, to wreck your face, or if it's more of a, you know, you just can't go back that way. I, I don't know how that works, but uh, we'll do next turn. Yeah, here it is here. I'm guessing it's a, you don't want this line, you don't want to be behind this line, basically. Um, so, uh, we, get, we only have one place to go, it's Solnasker, so we'll go there. And we'll deploy both of our troops. And now we gotta wait for the enemy. Let's see where they are arriving from. Yep, they're coming from this direction. So let's get some guys over here. And some guys uh, over here. I don't know which direction they're gonna run towards. I had a feeling they were going to do that. There's another little 
lip here, I think the guys can come up there. Alright, well we're getting it from the same side again. Same angle. And right now we just have basic troops with, with uh, swords, but uh, as we get upgrades we can, we can upgrade them to, you know, ranged troops and other things. See, I'm losing a few guys here and there. Uh, Alright, we got one from up that direction, so I'm gonna have you guys go over here and kind of protect this area. Let these guys come to me. There we go. And now they're coming from the other side again. So it's all mouse driven, which is nice. Don't have to worry about any keys or anything like that. Controllers or whatnot. Ooh, all the trouble with those guys. There we go. Get the maximum coinage that we can get. So let's do one of my guys up to Six maybe, or we'll get close to it. Because I think our first, um, I'll take a look right now, but I think our first upgrade is at six mm -hmm. coins. Yeah, and this is where you can select what class there is. Uh, these guys will be, and I think they're both like six, so. Yeah, we gotta get there relatively soon. Um, and then there's also, you see these question marks here, which I'm gonna head for this time. Uh, that is, um, there's a possibility that I'll, I'll pick up some sort of item that my guys can use a special item. So, next turn here. There we go. Alright, and we're gonna go... Oh, no, I don't want to revisit the island. I want to go... this way. And... Alright, looks like there's just one area where these guys can get up, so... Be relatively straightforward. Let's get our guys down here and deployed. There's anything on the other side? Nope, there isn't. So probably don't need to move these guys at all, uh, unless well, I'll probably have to move them over to this side if we get attacked from that side. But otherwise, this is pretty much they're pretty much uh, blocking the path here. Yep, here they come over this way, so we're gonna park our guys over there. So it's minimalistic and kind of cool. Uh, I mean, it's a nice little, fun little ramp. I can see it. Oh, what a guy got through. Wow. And see, this is the problem now, is that they won't go chase after these guys. Like, at some point, they just stop running after them, which is weird. We think they would always run after any enemies that get by, but it's not tell how the game seems to work. Another wave incoming. Right, let's put these guys back here. Kind of back up these other ones. This this squad here is not driving too well. There we go. And we got a ring of commands. Cool. Oh, there were two two uh buildings up there. <laughs> All right, let's get these guys up to six and these guys up to six. We got one more here, so go out to them. So now it's, it says upgrades available. And we're going to do that. Okay, so um, first of all, mm -hmm. so I don't forget, we got an item here. Ring of Command increases maximum squad size to 12. Alright, so I would like there to be 12 um, swordsmen. So we're going to go and use that item here. And then we need 16 to upgrade to the next level. And then I'm going to have these guys be infantry. 
like that. And then you can see we get skills later if we have seven, but he's down to one coin to spend. Now we come over to this guy who has six, and we're gonna make them um we're gonna make them archers. Let's say. And then you can see the skill and stuff coming in there. And if I get an item that helps with archers, then we'll be able to do stuff with that. But anyway, that's the way we're going right now. Uh, they are both fatigued, so we have to hit next turn. And uh, I'm going to say that I should probably go... Well, I could go this way. It doesn't seem to matter. I think you can go up and down. So we'll probably go this way and then go down here to dusk. We'll go to Lump and then dusk. Because it looks like Lump has uh, four houses on it with two bigger houses. So that could give me a lot, of, a lot of gold. Whereas this guy only has like one big house and one small one. So we're going to go this way. And we're going to deploy our troops. Now, it looks like there's only one area where the... Well, there's two areas where these guys can get up. Both this... Well, this side's not going to do anything for them. There's really only the one area that they can get up there. So, we're going to deploy our troops. And these guys are my archers, I believe. So, they are going to come over here. And these guys are going to come down here and what they got to do to fend off our our borders. So move these guys over one more. To get a good angle on things. And actually, move these guys down here. Move these guys over here now. I'll make sure they get a good angle on there. Excellent. Okay, they're coming from the other side now. And come over here. And then I'll just make them walk around after me here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Alright, coming from that angle now. Move these guys over here. Actually, move them. Yeah, move them here, I guess. Oh, they got shields. Alright, anybody else? Oh, yeah, we got more. We're coming in from, from both sides here, so I'm gonna have these guys. Uh, them stand there. We'll have these guys come over here and just pelt these guys coming in. Okay, final wave incoming. Excellent. Yep, they are certainly incoming. Do as much damage as I can while they come running over here. Oh, nice. Very nice. Three there, two there, well, three there. Okay, so six. Um, so we'll do maybe three and three just for the sake of argument. These guys, I probably should really upgrade. Actually, you know what? The archers need to be upgraded yet. Let's do, uh... Get these guys up to six, maybe, right now. Okay. I don't think there's anything they can do with six, though, but at seven, they can get a skill, which I kind of really want them to get. What's this one? A uh, veteran. And then this is 16. And then this is perform a jumping attack from a cliff on the enemy's boat. Oh, okay, that's not that great. All right, so really I just want infantry then. So I want them to get to 12 at some point. All right, all right, got it. Just uh, making sure I know what's going on here. Now I assume that these orange, these flags are probably other squads that I could get 
if I go and and uh, save them. Um, but uh, it looks like the next one is down here. I'm not going to be able to get up to that one, I don't think, before all hell breaks loose. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> most likely not. Um, Alright, we'll come down here and grab whatever this is. I would say. Deploy. What we got here? We got a couple... Got one area that they can actually come up. Well, two sides of that one area. And then come up. It looks like they're coming from over here. So we'll go these guys here. These guys down here. Actually, I'll move them over here a little bit. I don't think there's any. Oh, there is another direction they can go. That's going to make. Which way are they going to go? Let's come down here and make sure they don't go that way. Because that looks like a. Oh no, that's not going to. They can't get up that way. Never mind. Here. And then these guys come down here. from the other side we have things down here to protect so we're gonna have to put this here I'm gonna have these guys come over there and kind of harass them a little bit all the way around the other side though oh they got archers of their own interesting Coming around the other side here. Uh, we're gonna go this way and have them come over this way. Excellent. We got even more coming. Let's have them go over here. This way a little bit. I like how they, the little guys like protect themselves with their with their shields. They come up. Excellent. We got paid and we got a war horn. Awesome. Okay, so let's get some more into these guys. And upgrade available there. Them up a little bit. Uh, I want to get these up a little bit faster, so let's get them upgraded right now. Cool. We got Skakum Mile and then Golunjin. Um, these guys are going to, let's see, what is the, uh, Warhorn calls instant reinforcements from a house. Ooh, really interesting. Um, but now these guys, I want them to get infantry, veteran status. There we go. And then over here, these guys don't have an item yet, so I'll give them the Warhorn. There it is. Great. All right. I'm going to get these guys upgraded now. <laughs> if I can, give them most of the spoils of the next one. So next turn. There we go. Alright, and I guess we're on to... So Stockholm Isle um, only has one house on it. That seems like a waste. There's a long path to that house. Um... go up here and go this way and down to that maybe yeah let's do that this one seems like it's not worth the effort so we're gonna go this way go look at the map first before I 
do anything. Okay, so there's this one path up there. And that, and then there's a house over here. So it's really only the one path. It's just this house down here that's going to be interesting. L luckily, there's some high ground uh, to try to help out there a little bit. All right. Blow my troops. Let's get them, uh, get them down here right now. Started. All right, they're coming this way. So we'll have these guys down here, and these guys over here. <laughs> there you go. So I'm worried that they're just going to run the other way here. Over to this house. Yeah, let's just stay here for a moment. Oh, they, they bang you with their, with their ship. I didn't know they did that. Final wave incoming. Turn back the tide. We got an achievement. All right, here they come down here. Let's get these guys over here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They ran over to the other side, really? There we go. Okay, let's, um... One was the one I was trying to pump some into. I guess uh, my archers, I should pump some more into them. Get the uh, four there, and one here. Go. Yeah. Sark, Lundry. See, I don't want to go all the way up this way because this thing's going to grow and just really wreck my face. But anyway, next turn. Alright, I guess we're going to have to go this way and then down. We just got a, a two house place. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> well, this is going to be a little ridiculous. There's no high ground at all here. Okay, they're coming from that direction. Let's go over here. And over here. Protect my archers. Mm -hmm. Coming over from this direction now. Really shouldn't put them right on the shoreline like that, but it's uh, oh, it looks like they're not going to hit me with their boat this time. Now. this direction, so let's go up here, and right up there. <coughs> what else? Yep, back this way. Over here, and up here. Oh, 
on the wave. You here and you here. Launchers might be a little too far away there, but we'll we'll see how it works. Still doing a pretty good, pretty decent job. You bastard! You run right by my guy. <laughs> I knew one of them would just like run right around me. Okay, um, just give them all, all the coinage. Continue. All right, excellent. Uh, let's see. Let me get them to twelve. Right, what is this one? Warhorn. Call two extra soldiers per use. Ah, uh, okay, no. Now I'd rather have veteran archers. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we have the, uh, hopefully another army here to help us. So let's do next turn. And here we go. All right, local commander. Oh, we got a local commander. All right, so uh, can I pull him in? I guess he's automatically pulled in. Um, all right, so what we got here as far as an island? Look, there's just one area up there that they can go through. Everything else is kind of over here. All right. Let's get my guys down here for the moment. Get these guys down here too. Guys over here. All right, we'll get them over here. Get these guys over here. And right there. Alright, more in that direction. I think maybe I have to come over here and over here. Gotta right click. These guys come over this way a little bit. That might be they might be too far away to help. I have a feeling these guys are gonna split up a little bit as they as they land it. You're coming here, you're coming here. I gotta bring my archers down and make them useful. Come on down here and be useful. Oh, no, I want you to come over here. I didn't, I didn't right click again. All right, let's get these guys here, you here, and you there. There, maybe. And move you over here a little bit. You're coming in on an angle. Alright, and then over this way, since you're coming over on another angle. Down here, my archers. Oh, they killed the blue army all together. That's... That sucks. I was hoping to try to protect them, but, uh... That did not work out so well. I guess I don't get them now, because they... Because they got killed off. I don't know how that works. How do I do my, uh... My special... Oh, here we go. Uh, flee, replenish... Warhorn... What is this one? Replenish... Oh, that was not what I expected it to be. Oh, good God, I I I messed up. I didn't realize. I thought it was. I didn't know there was going to be a timer. 
Now this is the one problem they have with games is that they don't actually tell you what's going to happen when you do something. Well, this is just ridiculous. I didn't know there was going to be a... I didn't know they have to go in there to... No. So did I lose that army altogether then? They are dead. <laughs> Great. Well, that's just fantastic. And that's the one part where I'm like... You really ought to have a tutorial. <laughs> like, there are times when it's, you know, the game is, is um, you know, self-explanatory enough that have, not having a tutorial you can get away with. But when you do something like that, where it's like, you don't realize what the effect is of, of doing something, that's a, that's a real cheap, that's, that's cheap. <laughs> that's really, really cheap. And they really ought to have warned me about it or something. Um, but anyway, it's a decent enough game, and I think I've shown pretty much what's going on here. It's very, uh, very unforgiving, <laughs> I would say, based on what has happened here. Um, but, um, this, my friends, has been Bad North. It is by Plausible Concept and published by Raw Fury. It is currently, I believe, 10% off. Yep, at $13.49 US, normally $14.99. And I'd say it's worth it, given what's here. I mean, it looks like uh, it, it's uh, kind of an interesting, different take on like an FTL-like game, which I, I you know, hey, I, I think that's a good thing. Always do a little innovation, and it's, uh, it's nice. It doesn't require a whole lot of thought. It does require some experimentation at your own cost, as, I, as I've shown. Um, but anyway... As always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.